What's up? It's Re. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a decorative river vein piece with variegated resin. I'm going to start out by clamping the piece down. Anytime you're using a router, it's good practice to make sure the piece is stable and not going to move. In the router, I have a half inch core bit set up in the plunge base. I made sure to set the adjustments so the bit can only go about halfway through the wood. I plugged it in and started routing in the pattern. So for this one, I followed the grain of the wood for the most part and then kind of freehanded it as I went. I then switched to the quarter inch core bit set to the same height, double checking to make sure that it wouldn't go all the way through the wood. Because I'd gone off the end of the boards, I taped them off so that the resin wouldn't escape, and I mixed up the resin. In this case, it is a total of two thirds cup, one third cup uh, resin, one third cup hardener. And for this, because it's only about quarter to half inch deep, we're going to use the tabletop resin. I then divided the resin into three cups and added the pigment. In this first cup, we have powder pearl color uh, with some transparent blue to get that ice crystal color that we see here. In the next one, we have powder purple, powder blue, a little bit of that powder pearl, and some transparent blue. This is going to be our main purple color. And our third one is the same, the powder purple, powder blue, a little bit of the powder pearl, and some powdered black. Uh, there's a higher ratio of blue in this one than the last, and a little bit of that transparent blue as well. And this is going to be our darkest purple color. So I started out by pouring the darkest purple color in first on the end. I then poured in the base purple to surpass that halfway point. And then finally poured in the ice silver or ice pearl color at the end. I then took a popsicle stick and just kind of helped the resin swirl together just to make sure there were no harsh stop points in any of the colors that they flowed together and swirled together a little bit better. A couple days later, once it was hardened, I sanded off the overflow. Uh, starting with 80 grit and sanded the piece up to 320 grit and then wiped it off with some isopropyl alcohol to get the dust off before I finished it. This piece is finished with a very thin coat of a red oak stain. I use a paper towel to apply it, trying to use as little as possible so that it wouldn't take the resin at all. And then I went back and wiped whatever had been on the resin back off. Once the stain was dried, I used an oil-based gloss polyurethane as the top coat. And once that was dry, I flipped it over and added the wall hanging clips on the back. So here's some final shots of our piece. I think the variegated resin pieces look good in a vertical direction, so they look like they're flowing down a wall or next to a door frame. I have seen some of them hung over top of doorways or on shelves, just as a backdrop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Bye.